Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. I want to do a short video for you. I'm currently, again, in the middle of doing a video about the wine of Babylon and trying to get some stuff done on the website, trying to get some things added to it and learn some things, and it's taken up some time, and I'm not going to be putting out as many videos as I usually do. There's a lot of articles that I have saved, I mean, thousands of articles and things that are important, a lot of videos that I never got to do in the past just because there's simply, there just wasn't enough time. So as I continue to work on some things, I wanted to do a video for you, a short video that was came out two years ago, an article, and it was from the Calif California Department of Public Health. They were accused of keeping the cell phone safety guidelines a secret for years. And a draft of those guidelines came out two years ago, and it was labeled not for public release. And it went all the way to the Sacramento Superior Court. And in part, the guidelines detail the effects that electromagnetic fields, EMFs, can have on your body. And the reason I'm doing this video is that in the world that we live in today with the technology, with cell phones, towers, 5G, 4G, 3G, tablets, laptops, routers, and everything that is electronic technology, I don't think we understand sometimes just how dangerous it truly is because it gets to be a norm in our lives and we just don't pay attention. So let me show you what they tried to conceal, just a little bit of it. They did studies that show that there is a significant link between cell phone use and brain cancer. And several studies have found that people with certain kinds of brain cancer were more likely to have used cell phones for 10 years or more. And most folks at this time have been using cell phones for almost two decades, at least a decade and a half. And most of the cancers were on the same side of the head that people usually held their phones. So here's just some warnings that something that maybe we should really start to do. The Almighty Father told us to be wise as serpents. All right, wise as serpents. And he also said in Hosea, Jesus Christ told us to be wise as serpents. And the Father told us in Hosea that my people suffer for lack of knowledge. So if the Father gives us knowledge, then we have to use it. I would recommend that you pray about your cell phone usage and about your uh, how much technology and electronic use is in your life and try to keep it to a minimum. Um, keep your phone away from your body. And the so-called experts have warned, warned the folks that the, keep, your, keep your phone at a distance from you. You can't walk around as so many people do with their phone glued to their ear. And do not sleep with your cell phone near you or carry it in a pocket or directly on your body. This is what they tried to hide. And children's brains are more susceptible to EMF exposures. And four ways to reduce your EMF exposure from cell phones is keep the space. Again, keep it away from you as much as possibly can. As much as you possibly can, use your speakerphone. Keep your phone calls short, concise, and to the point. And always really try to keep it away from your body. And maybe you may want to consider cutting off routers, other things, if, if you really can. And try to keep your usage of your electronic gadgets to a minimum. Because they really are dangerous. I just wanted to get that out there to you. Remember that if you will pray over everything, uh, everything, it doesn't matter. If you will pray over it and ask the Father to protect you, and if you will believe it and live by the words that the Father has given us, the Father will protect you. We have a wonderful Father. Jesus Christ loves us. If we will simply live by the words that he has given us, he, he will take care of us. It's a promise. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go, man. Uh, I will see you guys here very soon with a video about the wine of Babylon. I hope it to be really, really good. It's, it's really deep because if you look at the world today, so much that's going on, and we've talked about almost everything on this channel. We don't really understand the statements in the Bible about Babylon and the wine of Babylon. Folks are drunk. Folks are drunk all over this earth, man, and it's bad. But we're going to get deep into it, deep into it, and you're going to see where this wine comes from, what it means, and what's happening. All right, may the Father bless each and every one of you, all of you. I love you all. You're my brothers and sisters. And may the Father bless you in Jesus' name. Believe. Believe in the Father. Believe in Jesus Christ. Trust them. Pray to them. Love them and do right by them. And they will not fail you. When, when the world fails you, they will never fail you. That's